नमस्कार एंड वेलकम माय नेम इज कृष्णा पंकज नरम एंड आई एम डॉक्टर स्मिता पंकज नरम एंड टुडे मम्मी एंड आई आर एट अ हाइट ऑफ ओवर 11,557 फीट दैट्स व्हाट इट सेड ऑन द बोर्ड्स हियर एंड वी आर इन ले लद्दाख एट शांति स्तूपा दिस स्तूपा इज द हाईएस्ट शांति स्तूपा इन द वर्ल्ड एंड important is it symbolizes peace it symbolizes harmony it symbolizes love connection now today because of this high altitude many people around the world die over hundreds of people die in himalayas just trying to climb or have severe situation lose loved ones they cannot breathe lungs become full of fluid brain and lot of complica- complications no, come no shea headache uh blood get thinner and sometimes clogs or yes not thicker thinner, sorry thicker and clogs clogs so when i was very very young about 6 months old that's when suddenly my hands and legs stopped moving body became cold mom was in a mom felt she was in a trauma she was in living hell i wasn't breathing i had got an attack of asthma now most of the de- doctors who were who would have seen would say ke and did act they actually told mom that look your son i know you are doing siddha veda and helping many people but look this is serious and your son will have to take nebulization and pump for the rest of his life he may not grow very tall and forget doing sports activities but just a few years back now that time until now just immediately mom gave me asthalok dviro and various other herbs supplements which she made papa made from the scriptures now moving ahead to a few years back from 6 months old to when i was about 18 years old i ended up going to the mount everest base camp all on my own trekking over there with even no preparation people usually do practice for 2 months i just went and nothing happened but i saw two people around me who one of them nose was bleeding severely headaches were happening and one of them they called a helicopter to bring him back down because it became so serious so what are the ancient secrets and they which... were taking the medication yeah for altitude chemical yeah. medication nothing worked yeah it didn't work yeah. so in fact one of the friends who got nose bleeding i just connected with him on the trip i didn't know him earlier and his friend was the one who got down from the helicopter this one who i knew i gave him some of the herbs from ayush shakti and it stopped so it was a beautiful experience of friendship helping and healing so what are the ancient secrets anyone can use when they have low oxygen high altitude lot of altitude sickness dangerous situation while trekking mom can you share some stuff yes uh, first of all home remedies you can do a uh, teaspoonful each of cumin coriander and fennel powder add half a teaspoon of ginger powder quarter teaspoon of ajwain and quarter teaspoon of garlic paste now take this mixture already two days before you are supposed to travel two or three times a day and keep the packets and keep taking them two or three four times a day even after you travel and you are climbing and trust me this will help calm down headache nausea uh, bleeding symptoms and it will prevent the thickening of the blood because garlic is natural blood thinner so this is very powerful what i did last night i had a little symptoms you know and i just did gulka seed formula ayur seed gulka seed uh, from uh, ayush shakti tutu and i took uh, heart on jeevan rakshak tutu and i also took uh, surida in uh, india it is surida and abroad it is meta boost tutu so this three i took it and my symptoms went away instantly and never came back i climbed right now and nothing happened i wasn't breathless i was so good so that is what is possible using a natural healing secrets you can be strong you can get good oxygen and if you have a breathlessness you can even take asalog formula add into that like krishna gave it to other friends yes and especially this is just 3600 meters above sea level i went all the way above 5000 meters above sea level where the oxygen is less than 50% of sea level so at that point in time even chaitanya chintamani swasyog chintamani these two half a tablet itself can do really good for you along with that every day 
make sure you breathe a lot make sure you sit and deep breathe. breathe deep breathe in from your n- nose out from your mouth and hold and it for especially uh, abdominal crunch so crunch your abdomen very tightly so that when you breathe deep in it goes into the diaphragm and each and every parts of the lungs so not the abdominal breathing but diaphragm breathing is the best wow i was actually trying it right now just to see what it feels like it does <laughs> feel great so we love you and we're with you just to share with you this beautiful view of the himalayas where you can see the snow capped mountains at the end tomorrow we're going to go driving more deeper into the mountains higher altitude and we'll share with you what new experiences happen we love you and we're love with you love you love you namaskar namaskar